Coming up on City View, City receives a grant for affordable housing. Council approves a task force on gun safety. Find out how you can serve. And Austin Energy is pruning lines to keep residents safe. Hi, thanks for joining us for City View. I'm your host, Jason Zielinski. The nonprofit Affordable Central Texas, Inc. was awarded a total of $150,000 this month to continue its goal of creating housing affordability solutions for the city of Austin. And obviously what's affordable to one person is not affordable to another person. Austin Mayor Steve Adler, the U.S. Conference of Mayors, and Wells Fargo presented the nonprofit with a 2019 Outstanding Achievement Community Wins Grant Award of $100,000 for its works in support of the Austin Housing Conservancy Fund. Managed by Affordable Central Texas, the fund purchases mid-aged apartment buildings to keep their rent prices affordable, prevent gentrification, and avoid the displacement of current residents. The funds will allow the organizations to purchase more properties, giving more Austin residents the opportunity to live in areas that promote well-being through their access to education, jobs, and health resources. Recently, City Council passed a resolution to start a task force on gun safety. We sat down with Councilmember Alter and Chief Manley to talk about the issue and steps you could take at home. The mass shootings are what makes the news with respect to gun violence. It's what we think about most often. Austin is still a very safe city. We're still the fifth safest major city when it comes to violent crime, but we are seeing an increase in gun crime. Gun violence is prevalent every single day. The percentage of that weapon being a firearm has increased over the past five years as well. From roughly 17% of the weapons involved in these crimes five years ago was a firearm, we're now approaching 29% of those cases involve a firearm. It's really difficult and challenging, but there's still things that we can do and need to do at the local level to try and keep our community safe. Simply hiding a weapon is not securing a weapon. One simple step that you can take if you are a gun owner is to lock your gun. The Austin Police Department partners with Project Child Safe. This is a group that's out there that also promotes gun safety. You run it through the barrel of the weapon and then you insert it back into the lock. The gun violence that we see in our society doesn't just affect the direct victims, it also impacts our children, it impacts how we interact in the community. That's why it is so important that gun owners in our community take these steps and you just reinsert it back into the lock to protect the weapons that you own. This gun is now locked and safe from getting in the hands of those who should not have it or who are not allowed to have weapons under law. This gun task force, which I sponsored, is designed to help us create tailored and very specific opportunities for Austin to take action to prevent gun violence in our community. If you would like to serve on the Gun Safety Task Force, you can go to the Boards and Commissions page at austintexas.gov. And if you or someone you know would like to pick up a gun lock, they are available at the following locations listed on your screen. Speaking of safety, the Austin Police Department recently launched Safe Place, which is a program that assists victims of hate and biased crime while encouraging them to report these crimes. Thank you all for coming out this afternoon. Local businesses can participate in this free and voluntary program. Businesses participate by ordering a decal online, placing it in a visible spot near the front entrance of their building, calling 911 on the victim's behalf, and providing a safe place for them until police arrive. So as these stickers go up, it will be identifying businesses across our community that stand in solidarity with and for these groups in our society that are so often marginalized or preyed upon by hate. APD wants victims of hate crimes to know that we are there for them in their time of need. Visit apdsafeplace.org to learn more. Did you know trees conduct electricity and are a safety hazard if limbs grow too close to electric lines? Austin Energy's forestry division was created just for that reason. We caught up with them to take a look at what goes into pruning limbs away from power lines. Today we're trimming for a capital improvement project. We've got several poles that need to be replaced. Trimming the trees to clear the line and also clearing so that we can have those poles brought in and, and reset. 
first thing we do is we plan. We send out a work planner to come and talk to all the property owners that might be involved, let them know about the trees that we would need to trim or remove. Then we work off a plan that a designer has made that shows where the poles will be replaced and what they're gonna be replaced with, and then what trimming needs to be done. The different utilities involved will all come out and mark with paint on the street what's going on. So the White's Austin Energy, it says pole in the rear and what they're gonna be doing down there. Austin Water Utility has two different ones there, one blue and one green, and then Texas Gas Service also says clear. In general, we trim trees for, for safety, uh, for the safety of our employees that have to work around the wires, the safety of the public to make sure that there's not an electrical hazard or a fire hazard. If it's severe enough, it can burn the wire down and then you have the potential for having live wire on the ground, which is what we certainly try to avoid. Be careful when planting any vegetation near or around power lines. Remember, vegetation and power lines do not mix. It's also a leading cause of outages when storms occur. If you think you might have an issue and need more information, contact Austin Energy at 512-494-9400 or email the Austin Energy Forestry Division with the email on the bottom of your screen. That's all for this week's City View. I'm your host, Jason Zielinski. Our next episode premieres Monday, September 23rd. Thanks for watching.